Welcome to the life story of William Edward Hart, written by author Greg Edwards. Aviator Billy Hart became a familiar face in Sydney newspapers. His life story was discovered in a 100-year-old scrapbook. Billy was part of a popular Parramatta family. His mother, Maria Alice Hart, his father, William Hart Sr., and, of course, Sister Cassie Hart became the first Australian woman to aviate, as Billy put it. Billy's early working life began in West Wyalong, New South Wales, at the turn of the 20th century. He was an apprentice dentist, turning up with the first motorbike to town. He brought the first automobile and plane to West Wyalong, too. Billy constructed his own building with a dental practice on the first floor. This is where he began his love for advertising. After six years, Billy moved back to Sydney when West Wyalong discovered cars. So did Billy. He bought a T-model Ford and began a dealership. He sold automobiles in Market Street, Sydney. However, he traded them all in for a Bristol box bike claim. Billy wanted to be a birdman. He had limited training from Leslie MacDonald, a 21-year-old English pilot. Unfortunately, MacDonald died two years later when he crashed into the River Thames. However, Billy taught himself to fly. He was confident enough to land in the Sydney Cricket Ground. Billy knew he needed to be qualified to fly, so after a program of maneuvers, he was awarded Australia's first pilot license. To make it all legitimate, he applied to the Royal Aero Club and was granted license number 199. Billy Hart was in control and now is now confident enough to teach others to fly. So he began Hart's Aviation School, March 1912. He was invited to compete in Australia's first aviation contest. Philip Layton was the contest promoter. The contest was delayed two weeks, but Billy was ready in his slow Bristol biplane. American Wizard Stone was ready too. He had a faster monoplane. The air race was from Ascot to Parramatta Park. Billy won the day by following the train tracks. Billy became famous overnight. Rodson Hall was one of Billy's greatest supporters. Another friend was Bert Hinkler. Billy Hart gave Bert his first power flight in a plane. It was Billy that invited Bert Hinkler to Parramatta in 1928. Harry Hawker was another friend of Billy's. Harry is on the left, and Billy is wearing a smart bowler hat. Harry Hawker and his plane, 1914. Captain Edgar Percival was another friend. Billy gave Percival his first powered flight, too. Percival gave Billy flights in his planes as well. Here Billy has his hands in his pockets. And Pilot Percival is next to him. Yes, of course. Billy was a friend of our smithy. Billy Hart was in three silent movies. Camera in the clouds, among the clouds, with a camera and Australian calls. Aviator Billy Hart made a motorplane in his father's timber yard. He worked on different designs. His experimental monoplane had problems, and it crashed in September 1912. Billy survived only just, and his best flying days were over. By using his contacts with his defense force, 
Billy talked his way into the Australian Fight Lion Corps. Lieutenant William Hart was ready to serve. His role was to be flying instructor. However, he served only a short time as his injuries caught up with him. He served with honor. Billy came home and there to welcome the returning pilots. He returned to Silly Street as a dentist again. At first, he set up his practice in Parramatta. Then he moved to Boomerang House in Sydney. He used his wall service as means to advertise his dental practice. In 1928, he was best man to his brother's wedding, Dr. Bert Hart. Billy married a year later in 1929. Billy Hart died suddenly at young age of 58 in 1943. His ashes were spread on his parents' grave a year later. A memorial was set up in Parramatta Park in 1963. A box kite sculpture was erected in 2013 at Thornton Hall, Penrith. In honor of Billy's achievements, a fine piece of sculpture indeed, and at night, it is lit up. Some say if you go down to Penrith at dusk and look carefully, you might just see, you may just hear, there he is! By Jove, it's Billy Hart, the flying dentist. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and gals, we salute aviator William Ewitt Hart.